December 30th and I'm driving down to GCM Racing to work on our special project, uh, GCM uh, Racing Special Event Vehicle. And I'm getting close to the GCM headquarters. There's the van. And there's the GCM headquarters. Uh, and then we have this new project we should talk about, eh? Yeah. You want to bring that out? Yeah, it's heavy though. Oh, you got muscles. I know you can do yeah, it. Yeah, but it's heavy, very heavy. It's that guy there. Yeah. Pretty hard to find one of these nowadays. What is this thing actually from? This is an original, right? So what is this actually? What is it in its original state? Uh, it's called a Tonka Indian uh, Winnebago. Wow. And uh, it even has the uh, sticker on this side, which is still noticeable from Tonka. Wow. On the other side, it's kind of weathered out. So, <laughs> this was the days when uh, the toys for kids were made out of actual steel. Yeah, everything is steel. Okay. I mean, this you guys probably remember those days, any of you that are a little bit older anyway where uh, the truck could survive a beating in the backyard there every day for the entire summer and it still looked like a truck at the end of the summer. Yeah, leave it outside for the winter and pick it up in the summer again. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed actually how much detail they got on it. Uh, me, being that it's metal like this, all of this uh, lettering and stuff here is actually raised steel. You know, it's, a, it's part of the steel stamp and then they have a little fender flare and the storage boxes are all stamped out like there's quite a bit of impressive detail on it it's neat uh, this thing was either left in the sun a lot or i'm not sure but the, all the windows are all warped um, yeah so we're gonna have to change the windows um, it's got full interior cool the fridge is kind of uh missing a door but uh, we'll build one with styrene that's cool so um chris rappel in calgary in alberta Built yep. one, uh, and I've nice. had this now for about a year and a half. Uh, I wanted to turn this into a RC mm. for a long time, but I was just waiting because what I didn't like about other people what they do, they look great and all that, but I want to build it more scale. Okay, I want to build it like a, a real Winnebago would be built, in other words, uh, and not with uh, link suspension. I don't oh. want all the travel and all that. Oh. So when I saw your C-Max and the motor forward and all that, I said, this is perfect. Because especially if I mount this chassis underneath it, yeah. how do I get access to the motor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, uh, your C-Max chassis uh, is perfect for that because the motor actually comes out from the bottom yeah. once everything is installed. Yeah. Uh, another thing we're going to do on this is we're going to install that chassis. The motor, I want to do a 3D printed motor, but inside also, it yeah. also has a raised uh, hutch here for the motor. We're going uh, to cut this and we'll be able to see the motor from the inside. Awesome. So we'll take the seat out. I don't know if we'll keep these seats or whatever, but we'll um, get some scale items for the inside and put a bunch of uh, stuff on the table and try to find a lot of scale items and put a uh, chassis underneath it. Cool. Uh, it has, it still has the arm to actually come out. <laughs> I didn't even know that's what that was for. And it actually... <laughs> that ever cool. <laughs> Look at that thing. So... 
I, it, when I was with Chris at one oh, of our man, events, I told funny. him, uh, Chris Rappel did this and he's got vinyl wrapped all around it. Yeah. And, and I said to Chris, what I'd love to do with this build is actually make a GCM special event vehicle. So cool. it's going to be vinyl wrapped, uh, it's going to be uh, have your logo on it. I want to approach a couple other people to actually uh, sponsor some stuff on it and then we'll, we'll put their name on the vinyl also. And this will be at uh, pretty much all your events. Uh, I'm going to use it sometime at home for some videos, but I'm going to give it to Chris so he can bring it to some of his events for people to look at. Um, it's pretty cool and bring to the special events. Take a wild guess what we're going to use for a chassis. Can you guess? Write it down below if you can guess. Nah, I guess we're going to tell. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. So there's a surprising amount of room underneath this. I oh, kind of, yeah. when I first saw this, I thought, you know, we're never going to be able to get the uh, truck to fit underneath it. So turn it upside down. Like, it's actually got this, it looks like about a two and a half inch space between the bottom of the rocker panel and the actual floor on the truck. There's a huge space. So, funny thing is that you can put a full RC uh, chassis and suspension and motor and everything right in there, like there's without even conflicting with the frame inside. It's got so much space. And we're gonna, of course, use a C-Max. And uh, you can see that this one here is the 175 size axle. We're gonna use the 152 axle, so the wheels are still tucked in. Basically, it's gonna look exactly the same as it does now from the outside, but it'll have a full proper RC drivetrain and leaf springs and, I mean, that's pretty cool. Whose axle are we putting underneath it? The axles come from Bauhaus RC and uh, on Shapeways, and they also sell them at BauhausRC.com. Uh, and they're a Toyota version it's called an NC Yoda uh, that's the 152 size so that they'll keep the wheels tucked in like this and uh, with the leaf springs we can actually stack up huge piles of leaf springs so that the, the weight of the truck doesn't completely smash it to the ground. And we're also going to put leaf spring and coil spring on here. What's the coil spring for? The weight. I don't you think, think you need it. Just put more leaves? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah. If we have enough leaf springs on it, then it should be okay. We'll have to we'll have to just keep trying it until we get it. I know somebody, and I saw that on the, on the web the other day. But somebody came out with airbags, little tiny airbags oh, that's that you cool. can pop up. Uh, I think wow. I'm going to order them and just see how they look like or what they look like. Uh, they would be cool on here because a Winnebago oh, would yeah. have uh, not airbags but coil spring or something a little heavier yeah. Duty, yeah. Uh, because of all the weights. Yeah. Are you going to put a trailer hitch on it too? That's one thing I was thinking uh, is it would be cool to have a trailer hitch behind it and yeah. then and then you could do uh, you could do something like this to have that there and uh, and then you could have that at the back or uh, a boat or something so that'd yeah be kind of cool you got to do a trailer for that that'll be awesome really cool man awesome. So we're going to try the vinyl wrap, just like Chris Rappel did uh, in, uh, it's, I think it's Scale Town, uh, the YouTube channel yeah. he's got. Yeah, uh, link below in the comments. Yeah, and we'll try to, you'll put the link to his video of his, uh, yep. of, of his, one of Uh And because it's got all bumps on the, on there and with the vinyl wrap, it should pop up again. Um, yeah. It's going to be hard to actually show all the bumps, but the vinyl and all that, it, the, once we use a little heat gun to actually suck it up and uh, make oh, yeah. it nice and stick. Yeah, that'll work fine. And we'll change the windows to new windows, clear windows. But mind you, the uh, wrap is going to cover all, pretty much all the windows except for the front ones. We can. Uh, we should probably leave the door, the door uh, piece, say, like make a line for the door so it looks like there's still a door there. Because yeah. I didn't even know that was the awning that comes out. Okay. If it's supposed to be on this side, then we have to make sure that there's like an accessible door. At least it looks like a door. Yeah. What do you guys think we should put on the top? What kind of logo or what kind of stuff do you think we can put? We can put something really huge on top, especially event vehicle or whatever. So when we have it out like that as an awning, it's going to show up more. I think so you should put a drone landing pad. Drone landing pad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can use it for practice uh, landings, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge amount of space on top actually. 
Crazy. And this thing's heavy. I want to weigh it before doing anything, but it's, yeah. it's nice and heavy. Yeah, it sure is. Wow. But I've seen people crawl with this with their truck, and uh, they, they can you can pretty much put a lot of angle on it before it, it tips, but it's... it's. You can't even do that on a real Winnebago. No. They have like a two-inch flex. Yeah, but that... What I want to do on this is I don't want to do rock climbing uh, or anything. It's just going to be trail riding yeah. uh, and going out to the campsite or on the road. And yeah. uh, my trails are pretty nice for this. There's a lot of nice spots I can go. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do the broken bridge, but well, I should be able to. <laughs> but. You might have to do a whole bunch of turns to get around your switch back there at the house. Eh? Yeah, or the yeah. 55 degree hill, a 52 degree, it won't make yeah. it up that one. No winch on it? I don't think we'll pull <laughs> You might need one to pull it all over, put the winch on top so you can right the thing back when it lands on its side. Yeah. Yeah. So today, basically, we're going to hopefully start on this. Uh, what I want to do today is uh, take the, the bottom off and yep. see where the rails are going to end up and actually weld something on it to actually hold the, the rails. Cool. Well, I guess we'll start getting messy in the messy part of the shop and uh, chop some of the parts off the truck. And I'm really glad that you could come by in time for a video. That's pretty good. Cool. You got a drill too. You can't see it. I'm hiding it with the camera. I'm being an ass. You got very good rivets. Look at that. These are very old rivets. Yeah. And not very strong anymore. You're going to lose a front suspension soon. Yeah. Hey, we can make something out of that. Trailer. A trailer, there we go. So there, you can use this for your uh, four-wheeler trailer. Okay? Yeah. Perfect. Look at that, Chris is cooking batteries. Don't go. break it. Oh, I'm trying my best. Am I blocking your view? Am I blocking your view? <laughs> I can see it through the phone. My poor vintage Winnebago is all apart. The building has begun. Okay, so that's how the rail is going to go. Yeah, so the transfer case mount will be up here. Uh, the motor would be, would end up pretty much right where that slot is. Does that match up to the motor cover? Or I guess that's right yeah. in the front, eh? Yep, yeah. pretty much. So it'll be right there somewhere. And then uh, the rear, lots of room on the frame for that to fit. You can put the suspension in there, no problem. Lots of room. I think we need to make like a really solid mounts for this. Yeah. I'm actually thinking of doing mounts that go into this area and then out to the sides, like maybe even actually machining a piece there. Okay. And same with the front, because the body's so heavy, like I think you want it to be mounted on the frame like crazy solid. Yeah, but if you we know? mount it here, if we mount it here at like two spots here and two spots at the back, instead of at each end. Mm -hmm. The only thing I think you're going to run into with that is that this is just thin sheet metal on the floor. Okay. 
and if the truck gets knocked around or somebody sits on it by accident or something you're just going to bend the floor yeah you know so putting a piece in here that's actually just machined aluminum there that matches right in yep we can probably steal the rivets that are here already in the front and the back yep. and reuse them with new hardware yep and then get a really solid body for, for chassis yep. mount taking off the bumper and and wrapping it and then putting the bumpers back on is going to do a nicer job anyways yeah and then if we did that we could use some put some new hardware underneath it or whatever that yep. you wouldn't see these are plastic actually they're kind of a rubbery sort of plastic bumper yep so interesting i think that's the best bet because the body's so heavy it's got to be really solid mm -hmm. yeah other than that it'll fit no problem now we got to wait for the axle set up the leaves and the at the proper place and then we'll be able to uh, yep. figure out exactly where it goes yeah